is everybody doing? I'm Jay, DCA Adventure, back again with another cryptocurrency market update. And today is a huge, huge Bitcoin trading signal. So you don't want to miss it. Stay tuned for what we are going to talk about in the charts. But guys, if you love our content, please like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. And if you want access to the DCA trading script, you need to get into the Patreon group. You got to join my tier trading with the view. And by doing so, you will get access to the uh, trading scripts that we have. We have uh, an oscillator and a uh, momentum indicator. So you don't want to not have it. It's going to give you a huge edge against the market, you guys. And you're also going to get access to the signal group. We have a private channel inside the Discord where you will get access and you will see uh, what I'm trading, when I'm trading. Uh, you will get to, to talk with the other Patreons. And, you know, we get to uh, come together as a group. We do a lot of voice chats. And, uh, you know, we're just we're learning how to take low risk trades. And uh, we're trying to teach you how to be your own indicator your own uh signal i guess you should say so get into the patreon group guys 25 bucks a month and you're getting all kinds of awesome stuff you're, you're also getting access to the trading bots um, and those are sweet too they are trading different assets across different exchanges and they are spitting out trades all day long so you don't want to miss those so if i'm not posting trades then bots are trading um, if you guys are interested in getting any kind of custom trading tools made get over to the crypto mentors discord link for that will be in the description we make custom trading tools over there we also have trading bots we have uh, signal channels and uh, we're starting to look at a little bit of stocks so definitely go over there join there's all kinds of a good free information to you guys but our premium channels are super cheap you can get access to a ton of trading tools and and all these tools uh, are just help you get you know make you uh, make better educated decisions in the market so you, you want to check that out guys it's uh it doesn't cost you nothing unless you want a, a premium access so go check us out over there also i'm trading on femex and bybit uh, femex is doing a humongous uh, bonus right now so if you don't have an account or if you already have one make a new one deposit your money over and and take advantage of these bonuses uh, there, this one's huge so you can make a lot of money on this one so definitely definitely make a new and a new account femex they just uh they added doge so being able to leverage trade doge super fa go sign up for femex uh, they have all kinds of sweet features too um i do need to make updated tutorials on both platforms uh teach you guys how to use them a little bit better use the new features and stuff like that Big shout out to HyperTrader, trading all of my altcoins over there. Make it super easy, easy, convenient trading terminal. Uh, you can chart multiple different things, multiple, uh, and trade multiple different things all at the same time through API. So they are super badass. Uh, big shout out to you guys. Link for all this guys will be in the description. If you are into stonks, stocks, get over to First Trade. It's a mobile trading app. Uh, just for signing up, you will get a free stock. A uh, link for that will be in the description and I will post it right now in the chat. So look down there in the chat. I'm posting it right now. Sign up there. Like I said, no deposit required and you will get a free stock. I just got a Boeing a couple months ago. Um, it's worth over $250. So you never know, you might, you might hit big on it. So make an account over there. And our sponsor, Dogeworld, you guys want the sweetest cryptocurrency merch that you can possibly get your hands on. And he is partnering up with everybody that is hot in crypto right now. You got the big miners like Red Panda Mining, Savage Mine. He's got Aeon. Uh, he's got all kinds of different stuff. He's got the DCA trading collection. He's got a, a like a trading section in there where there's some some new trading stuff. I just bought the DCA trading hat. It has the actual DCA trading script printed on the hat. So that is super fucking awesome. Uh, so get over there, dojord.com and and buy something today. Don't delay, buy today.
Speaking of Aeon, we have Yashnik, our, our really good buddy. Um, he is putting on, or Aeon is putting on another poker tournament event. So you guys need to get over there, sign up for that if you want to be in the tournament. It is going to be awesome. I don't know all the details quite yet. I don't think uh, you can actually register yet for another couple days. But uh, we will get somebody to post the information in the chat right now. And, um, and if not, come to the Discord, join the DCA Discord, and we will have all the info in there. And we'll probably talk about it on Friday Night Livestream. So if we get signed up for the, the poker tournament, that would be super awesome if you got in there and played. And there's tons of good prizes, big winnings. Um, so get in there. Check it out. It's going to be super, super awesome. But uh, all right, guys, we're going to go over to... Uh, we're going to look at CoinGecko, and everything's, uh, you know, we're, we're hit or miss right now. We're red, we're green, but Bitcoin is up. We're up 3.7 or 3.2% in the last seven days, and we are down 1.1% in the last 24 hours, coming in at $58,247. Time of recording this is 6.11 p.m., 3.18.21. Uh, we got Ethereum. It's down 1.2% for the last week, coming in at $1,788. Cardano kicking ass 12.1% in the green for the week coming in at $1.28. I have high hopes for Cardano. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we charted it. We said close to $2. Uh, we'll take a look at it again, see if we are still on target. Polkadot down 4.9%, right around $35.93. Uh, let's see, Uniswap down 1.9% for the week but it is sitting at $30.36, so it's still sitting up there super high. Litecoin, 0.8% in the green for the week, $202. Uh, Chain Lincoln's down 0.6%, $29.77. So, you know, like I said, guys, it's hit or miss. There's some green, there's some red. They're a little bit all over the place here. Uh, Dogecoin, 3.4% for the week, coming in at 0.058. I actually took a long, we went long in the Patreon group on Doge um, a long time ago, like last week sometime. I'm still in that long right now. I'm up 400%. So we're just going to let it ride out and see what happens. Uh, VeChain, this is my good buddy Nefarious's fave, coming in at 28.8%, uh, 0.079. So I, I can't believe he hasn't posted anything about it, but he watches this one very close. So uh, hell yeah, Nefarious. Filecoin, god damn guys, 78.7% in the last week. It was just 30 some dollars the other day on Coinbase. Uh, coming in at $76.13, holy crap. We got Miggity Monero, 4.6% for the week, coming in at $232.85. So, uh, you know, good, good, I guess. Good, good, we're, we're, we're still on track. Uh, great trading setups here these last couple weeks, guys. Great trading setups, uh, super easy, super easy money, super low risk trade, especially if you were trading the moving averages like I do. I'm very big into trading them moving averages. Uh, so we did take quite a, quite a few good trades. And guys, I'm, I'm learning these bots on Pioneer or however you say it, but uh, we're getting dialed in there. Uh, I start, I, I like grid trading where you're just setting a bunch of grids, a, a bunch of buys, a bunch of sells. And I like to start them grids at these big moving averages on the daily time frame. So if you're starting at a 21 day and a 50 day and you set your lower limit there and then you set your higher limit, you know, way, way above that. Uh, it's been working out pretty good, so I'm going to keep tinkering with it, and we're, and we're trying other bots, and uh, we'll, we're going to start the series here soon. I'm confident enough that we can uh, do some stuff with a couple of the bots, and then as I learn them, I will show you guys what I've learned. And then we can get in the Patreon group, because a lot of guys uh, in the DCA Patreon right now, a lot of guys are running these bots, so uh, come join the fun. But we're going to jump right over here to trading view and i've been using the trading view desktop here recently it's a lot better i i think um not as laggy and it's easier to switch back and forth through tabs it's almost like a browser so it's uh it's pretty cool you should try it out just type in trading view download and you can get this um, and then sign in with your account but uh the very first thing i want to go over and we're going to turn this oscillator off but the very first thing that I want to go over is the the weekly chart on Bitcoin, the stochastic RSI, 
And with the RSI, it's just an oscillator. Uh, it's a momentum oscillator. Basically, it tell, it's telling you when momentum is coming into the market, when momentum is leaving the market. Uh, the guy who made this indicator typically says momentum is best or you should take the signal uh, when we breach above 20. Uh, so if you're looking down here on the RSI, move this here. You can see that we got zero line here. We got uh, 40. If you stretch it out, you'll end up getting the 20. So right here's our 20 line. <clears throat> This was already posted in the Patreon group. They knew about it first. But basically, we are just about at 20, 19.48. So we are right there at 20. It breaks above 20. Uh, but basically, what's going to happen is this blue line is going to cross over the red line. And when that happens, guys, that is telling us, hey, momentum is, is coming in. And uh, it's strong when it's above 20. So looking back and we're going to measure exactly what how far bitcoin went up last time on a weekly chart we had a bullish cross and and this is important too because we went way way down and, and kind of made a bottom if you look at here and here and here um it's a pretty good area of support where the rsi is bouncing off of so this could be very very big you guys you need to be paying attention to this keep an eye on this uh, I don't normally talk about RSI and the, the stochastic RSI but I do look at them all the time and these are coded into the DCA oscillator these conditions so um, you can just look at the oscillator and I'll, it'll kind of kind of show you but uh, the main goal here is or main thing we're looking at is these bottoms and we want to measure the move and, and see what potentially could happen if we were to uh we were to uh, take off here so let me get back out of full screen because i my measuring thing is not favorited why won't it let me out okay so there's my drawing tool so back here we bottomed out, so we're gonna go straight up. We crossed here. And we'll, we'll just measure from this one over, okay. So we crossed right there. there so that was a hundred and thirty four percent move right there on this crossover okay so let's go to this crossover we cross right there so we're gonna come up About right in here move this down a little bit more sorry guys so we crossed right in there. 470% in the area of 470% on this last weekly crossover, okay? So normally when we get to cross, we come up, see, see what we're doing with the moving averages when we reset. So we crossed, we come up, come up, reset, and we're coming back down, testing that 21. Coming back down, didn't test the 21. Okay, so let's go 470% from where we're at right now. And see right in the area of where that should put us. So four. No way, I had to have measured that wrong. The heck is going on here with my measuring device? So I made the cross back here. 384%. 
So if we go 384% from where we are at now, I just shrink it on down. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, this is crazy. It's over almost a hundred grand, right around one hundred and ten thousand dollars. If we go three hundred and seventy percent from current where we are at now, um, and this is on a weekly chart, so yeah, it's possible, guys. Um, we called back. We've been saying it for weeks with the supermarket cycle and the market structure that if we hit the top line on the Bitcoin uh, log growth curve chart that we will be in the neighborhood of a hundred thousand dollars so it's super po possible that this happens and if you look here um we're we tested the 21 day moving average uh one two three days ago we got pretty close to it. we didn't exactly hit it but right around fifty-seven thousand is where we got down to on the daily chart uh, i was buying all through there uh, the patreon group they were notified they were buying all through there uh, nice little M pattern here. Uh, I like trading those. But if if we would come back down, I'd be looking for right around 57,000, 58,000 uh, for an absolute low here on the 21 day. And, we, and you, obviously, we want it to bounce off of there as support and keep going up. But we'll take a look at the growth curve chart and see what it says. And. And we look at this on a monthly. So look, guys, look. I mean, look at that. I mean, it is so freaking possible. But we've already been one, two, three, four, five, six months into this bull run. And if we look back at Bitcoin history, bull runs don't last this long. You know, five, six tops and then they're down. So what's gonna happen here and we're hitting right off of that Fibonacci level right right around that uh, almost sixty three thousand dollars so if we can get back up here to the top line like we were saying that's putting it at almost a hundred thousand dollars I I think by May uh, let's see this is March April May I think by May we should be seeing a hundred thousand uh, dollars close to it and then bear market's gonna start right after right after we get up here guys I don't think it's gonna sustain and hold I think we'll have a bear market now whether we go back all the way down to the bottom of the channel uh, no one knows but we'll we'll see if, it, if history repeats itself then then yes it will over time it will come down but guys, I'm going to be looking to take my profit if we get up to this line. I'm going to be dumping everything. So just keep this in mind. This is on your monthly Bitcoin chart. And uh, keep in mind too, on the weekly Bitcoin chart, we have the, the stochastic RSI, bullish crossover. Um, looks super good. Everything is going is playing out right. So, so we may have a nice little jump here. Uh, we may test this next Fibonacci level right around $74,000, $75,000. Um, who knows? Or, or like I said, since bull runs are not typically this long, we may just shoot straight up to the 100K area, 98K, and, uh, you know, dump. I'm not saying it's going to dump as soon as it gets up there. You know, you, we don't know, guys. It, it could consolidate and, and it could go the next leg. But just looking back from what hi history has shown and what Bitcoin has done, um, it does not stay up here that long. I mean, you can see when we hit the top here, we was there for not even two months. And then we started bear market. So keep this in mind, guys. These are long-term trades. These are, you know, these are macro. These are what you want to be looking at overall. A lot of guys are always looking at hour charts and stuff and you need to scroll out and back out a little bit. You'll get way more information backing out on the time frame. Jump over here and look at Ethereum. 
Okay, so on Ethereum, uh, we did get an orange wave that did cut back in uh, down here on the oscillator, and we're we're in we're we're, we're creeping up on the overbought, but uh, it, it actually came back down. So we'll see. We've been following this trend line here that I've gotten drawn in on the daily chart. Um, and so if we were cut to come to the bottom of the the trend line, I'd be right around fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred dollars. Yeah, right around sixteen hundred and ten dollars is where it would put you. Uh, that would be the first area I'd be looking for a long, as long as it uh, validates and holds there. But two guys uh, looking at this, it is creating an ugly ass head and shoulders pattern. Uh, you could say this was your shoulder, this is your head, and this is your other shoulder. Typically these are bearish, but just because it's playing that pattern does not automatically mean that it's gonna go down, okay? I have seen, uh, especially a lot in crypto, where it plays this pattern out, and the fucking thing does the complete opposite of what we were expecting. So, careful when you trade these head and shoulders patterns. They always don't play out like you would think. Um, get the moving averages back up on there. Now... On a, on a daily chart guys and hopefully and there's a lot of stuff surrounding ETH right now with the the mining fees getting lowered and all that stuff which too we've been passing around some uh, links in there to go vote so you guys need to go vote if you, if you mine cryptocurrency uh, you don't want your fees on ethereum going down I mean it's ethereum's ridiculous anyway we were talking about it last night it's just ridiculous the trading sucks on it the gas fees suck um, everything sucks on it, in my opinion. I, I fucking hate Ethereum. I hate it. <laughs> I, I just, it's all right trading, but I, I don't like it as far as the scalability and how much it costs to do everything. I mean, something's got, something's got to be fixed somewhere. But uh, we possibly could have a bearish crossover that 21 crosses underneath the 50 uh, day moving average and the DCA uh, simple moving average crossover script has not printed a cross yet so technically that 21 is still on top of the 50 now guys I, I told you it last week that it's going to be testing this area so you need to be paying attention to um, 1670 all the way uh, probably up here to 1750 area um, it does look like we got good support from the area of 1774 down to the moving averages of 1680. So keep them areas in mind. I definitely think we're going to test those again. Um, you know, you might have a lot of people saying that this is a big cup and handle. And, and, it's, and it really is playing perfectly how a cup and handle plays. You'll normally get your cup here. Then you get your handle, and then you get some squarely ass shit that goes on here, and then boom, breakout. So keep keep this pattern in mind on a daily chart for Ethereum. Um, it could it could squarely around here, like I said, and then make that break to the top side. And if you want to uh, measure where it's gonna happen, um, I have videos showing how you measure a cup and handle um, and give you a, a draw up. Uh, might as well just do it right now. So you see that you see that I got the cup, I got the handle, and now you're gonna draw a line at the top of your cup, okay? And it's kind of like measuring a head and shoulders, where you'll come to the cop, top of the cup, and you come down to the bottom, you draw a line, grab that line, take it and put it over there where it does that squirrely ass shit we were talking about. So definitely be looking for an area of, of over 2,000. Uh, 2100 area on ethereum if we get the break to the upside and i think it's going to do it a lot a lot of stuff going on around ethereum i think just that exposure and just just that attention there is going to drive it up so pay attention guys stay frosty uh don't don't if you, you wait and you're not in on on the pump then just just sit down and watch but uh what i am going to do is i'm going to go into pioneer x and I am going to 
uh, set up a bot starting at the 50 21 day moving averages and I'm gonna run it up and uh, we're gonna see what happens I'll set my stop loss below that moving average and we're gonna see uh, I'm gonna we're gonna ah, I wish I could do it on here but I, I got my big accounts uh, it'd be hard to block everything I was gonna say drop a couple K into it and see what happens and uh, show you guys what you make uh, what the profit would be off of that bot so uh, but we will get into that i promise i'll show you guys how to do it if any of you are interested in getting into the bots uh, dm me in discord for a link i uh, give you my link so you can get you a bonus but definitely think uh, ethereum could break over 2k 2100 and then obviously we want to come back we want to make support we want to validate support and take off again looking at ethereum weekly Still really bullish, really bullish. Um, the 21 still on top, 50, then your 200, so definitely good. Um, 21 weekly moving average is sitting right around $1,123. I'm not saying it's going to go down that far. Uh, it is possible. There is uh, an area of support at that level, so it uh, wouldn't surprise me to see a wick or something down there. Looking at the weekly oscillator. We are still in the over uh, overbought area, so uh, we may reset a little bit. Be looking for 1,386 for a good buy, and be looking for 1,123 for a good buy for Ethereum. Um, let's look at ADA. ADA for the weekly still looking very good, very good. It is in the over uh, bot area, so be expecting it to maybe drop a little bit. We did get the orange cutoff wave at the top back here um, one, two, three, almost a month ago, um, and then we did get the drop. So uh, I think it'll still. I think it's possible it reaches over. Now, guys, this is a freebie for you. This this is setting up perfect. Uh, the daily oscillators down here below zero. Uh, VWAP is up above zero. You want to be holding. Um, you want to be holding ADA here. We are testing that 21-day moving average, guys. So drop a bot on there. I already have my bot going on on ADA or leverage trade this or spot buy this. Whatever you're doing, you want to buy the 21-day moving average. You want to put your stop right underneath of it and see what happens, guys. Uh, see if it'll if it'll validate that 21 as support and respect it and if it does that's going to be a very nice uh play for you so definitely definitely try that we got we got the cutoff the the orange wave did clip off on that on that blue wave so momentum's there it's coming it's starting to come so you see here we broke the 21 day we came back on the 21 day tested as support it validated it respected it then we went for the next leg we got knocked back down um, let's see if we can validate this 21 again even just a play and having one candle play just like that can make you a shit ton of money if you're leverage trading and you're doing this right even spot trading if you're using enough money um, that move from a dollar twenty to a dollar 47 could have made you a lot of money uh, 20 over 20 some cents per share so I get in the patreon guys I will show you how to do this I'll show you what to look for you definitely definitely don't want to miss it this is gonna this this is gonna be a great trade um, ADA Ethereum guess we could look at Litecoin Litecoin is also looking like it's coming down by that 21 again, and it did test uh, uh, two times here. That would have been your time to take long, especially leverage trading, um, and you could have really made out. It did come all the way up to the top line on the oscillator. Uh, we had the orange wave clip off. It is dropping. VWAP is curling up, though, towards zero, so we shall see. Um, I would be taking my longs here at this 21 and taking and putting long positions at the 50 or buy positions at the 50 at $185. Um, this is, is setting up really good. Really, really good. 
you do have a small little head and shoulders right here that you should be aware of i'm not saying it's going to play out but these are bearish um it, it could make this drop down to the 50 day uh, when you want to see a bullish head and shoulders you want it to look like this kind of like thick and balls <laughs> not to be gross but that's what it looks like um I'd be putting my buys there for sure on Litecoin. That looks super, super good. Weekly still very bullish. Um, we got a 50 week crossing to 200 weeks on Litecoin. Uh, very bullish, very bullish. Normally on the, on the daily chart, when you have a 50 day moving average cross a 200 day moving average, that is considered a golden cross. Um, so you might want to kind of say golden cross on the weekly chart, but this is very bullish for Litecoin. Uh, I think Litecoin's a sleeping giant. I think we're going to see some big things out of it. I, I just feel it because it's very quiet. No one ever talks about it. Um, it'll happen. I wonder if they have slime on here. Nope. Hmm. Let's go to uh, engine. Engine's doing some crazy stuff. It is up at 300 and almost nine cents. 301 cent almost. Uh, way oversold, so I'd probably stay away from that. Uh, up to 114, so that's pretty crazy. I bet a daily looks even crazier. Uh, daily 21 is coming in at $1.58. Um, I hold quite a bit of engine. Um, it did get over $3, so that's, that's pretty damn good. But we are way oversold on the daily oscillator as well. And we're printing all kinds of bearish divergences. Um, you might just be safe to say, uh, wait for the 21 retest. Because if you map out the area of support there, it's right starting right at 224 and coming right down around almost to that 21 at 173 174 um we got engine what else did we trade a lot of we'll take a look at the doge um we drew a huge breakout trade um, on this big pennant in the patreon group and and a very good trade uh, we got this breakout here and we're kind of doing the same thing you could draw you a little triangle in here a pennant and play this breakout trade as well well no that's not really valid unless you wanted to do a trend line something like this but the, the 21 is about to cross under the 50. If that happens, that's bearish. It's probably going to dump. This is something to be aware of. If it respects off the trend line, then uh, take your, your buy it or go long. It is not oversold yet, so or overbought. So still got plenty of room that it could break out from right here. So far, it's been respecting it. Go to the weekly. <clears throat> Alright guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something. Make sure you smash that like button. Join us Friday night for the, the Friday um, live stream. We all get together and talk about a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And get into the Patreon group, guys. Join my tier trading with The View. 25 bucks a month and you get all that stuff. So that's a very, very solid deal. Alright guys, later.